new copier, newish it's getting kind of old at this point um, this is how you set up so go to oneoffsolution.com just like what is up here one is the number one go down to the bottom click service call meter readings which is actually not at all what we're doing copy your printer driver page and then we're going to say we are from North America and our category is all is fine product name we have an MX M465N and we want it in English next then just find your operating system. If you're not sure what your operating system is, if you have a Mac, go up to the top right, top left. There's an Apple about this Mac. It's telling me that I have Catalina, which is 10.15.7. So I find that. Don't click on anything um, until you have the right one, because otherwise it'll actually link to it immediately. Um, I did that last time and accidentally started downloading something else. So um, then I'm going to go to this link down here, Mac PS Driver and then download. Download a DMG file, it'll show up down here, so you can just double click on this after it's done and that'll open the DMG file, which is just an executable file. It's just, it, it runs the program that it's supposed to. If you don't have it down here, it's no big deal. Just go down to your finder and then go to downloads and it should be the top thing up there. Double click on it and it will begin the installation process right here. There's an MX file, so this is what you'll actually run after it's done the unpackaging. And you just don't need to read any of this. Just click continue and agree, install, put in your password. And bada bing, bada boom, you're done. Remove the trash. So now you have the, the right driver on your computer, which basically means that your computer will be able to identify all the different characteristics that our copier has. So then from here, you might need to restart Microsoft Word. Um, maybe not. Uh, there's two different ways to do this, but I'll just show you one to start out with at least. I'm gonna go to File Print, and we're gonna add a printer. So down here, we're gonna go to Add Printer. Uh, the other way to do it, if you wanted to be fancy, you could just go to your system preferences, which is what this is down here, or you could type in printers and scanners in your command search. So if I hit command space, I could open this, and then I could add a printer that way by click clicking the plus. Either way, it gets to the same spot. So I'm going to go to add a printer, and then I can type in the IP address. If it doesn't show up, it should fall show up by default. Um, I believe this is it, MX M465N. If it doesn't, you can do an IP search. If it doesn't show up, uh, 192.168.5.99 is the web address. Um, so just like you have a physical mailing address, this is like the, the printer copier's address. Uh, I'm gonna go back to the default though, and I'm gonna go to MX, it really doesn't make any difference. And I'm gonna give this a name, teacher workroom. And my location is also the teacher workroom, so I'm going to put that in there also. And click Add. And then I'm going to hit Configure before it gets done while it's setting up. We actually have four trays. We do not have a large capacitor tray, and we do have finisher. The rest you can leave blank, but we have four different trays to choose from, and that should get you set up. Uh, there are a few other things that we can go into that I would have to explore and I don't want to waste your time on this but like how to do the staple option and all that um, so then I can hit print and I'm sitting in the teacher workroom obviously it's identified the correct printer I can tell by the little icon that's down there that hey that looks what we actually have and you can hear that the printer is warming up now to print my blank Microsoft Word page so that's how you get the new thing I'll go ahead and send you the link I'll send you the direct link to Maybe not that one in case you have a different version. So this is the link to North America, the correct product. You'll just have to download the correct uh, operating system driver just by clicking on it and following the directions I had said before. So I'm going to copy that and include this in the email. And that should be about it. Good luck.